Hello again, this is Al, K0CN, and today I'm checking out the N1MM Logger Plus Spectrum display window to see how it functions with my Flex 6000 Signature Series radio. So I thought I might make a short video looking at some of the features and options. First of all, I'm running Smart SDR version 2.0 on my Flex 6500 and also running the current version of N1MM Logger Plus which is version 1.0.6711. On my monitor number one, I have the Smart SDR user interface, and on the left side, I have the N1MM entry window and the band map. The band map, of course, shows us the calls and the frequencies of stations that have been spotted by operators and skimmers, and this information is obtained via the Telnet connection from the Internet. N1MM has recently created a new spectrum display window. The new display consists of a spectrum scope and also a waterfall if desired. In addition, N1MM incorporated the spotting information from the Telnet connection and lists call signs over the spectrum peaks where the station signals are found. The new spectrum monitor is available to Flex 6000 series radio users that are running Smart SDR version 2.0 software or later. Let's take a close look at the spectrum monitor. To start, go to the N1MM entry window drop down menu and select Spectrum Display. And the spectrum monitor appears. I'm going to rearrange my monitor a little to help us focus on the topic at hand. There we go. So this is the Smart SDR user interface on top and the new N1MM spectrum monitor on the bottom with the band map on the left. Now let's take a look at the Smart SDR interface and the spectrum monitor in more detail. First off, N1MM has created a handy help document which is available by right-clicking on the monitor window and selecting the Help option. This document was very useful in my initial monitor setup. Now let's take a closer look at the option menu. Here I'll take a moment and scroll through the settings I used initially when I set up the monitor window. Now let's take a closer look at the monitor display and some of the basic settings. The noise floor or grass level of the spectrum monitor can be adjusted by moving the signal magnitude scale on the flex pan adapter. Here we'll move it up and down. You can adjust the signal threshold by placing the mouse pointer on the spectrum monitor and rolling the mouse wheel. The dotted line or the threshold can be moved up and down. Notice the red dots on the frequency line. These represent computer notions that it is receiving a station. As you move the threshold up away from the noise floor, the number of signals detected is reduced. The higher the threshold, the fewer stations will be listed. See the box on the left, which enumerates the stations detected. Next, the band spread is easily adjusted by placing your pointer on the flex pan adapter frequency scale and sliding the pointer left or right. This will result in a band spread change in the spectrum monitor also. The spectrum band segment can be changed by placing your mouse pointer on the flex pan adapter and with the left mouse button clicked, drag it left or right. There are two sliders on the bottom of the monitor window. They are used to adjust the waterfall contrast level and the others to compensate for static during signal recognition. One of the new features of the N1MM spectrum scope is the ability to list spotted call signs above the received spectrum. These spots are the same spots listed on the band map. The spot information is available if you're connected to a Telnet cluster through N1MM and the Internet. There is a list of checkboxes that provide some spotting options. Click on the arrow on the monitor's top right to see the options. You can configure the way spotted call signs are displayed by checking the Only Spots You Can Hear option 
You'll reduce the number of call signs displayed. Adjusting the threshold line will also affect the number of spots displayed. The obvious beauty here is that you can now associate a signal peak to a call sign that you actually can hear. Now I'd like to briefly talk about tuning. For this I'm going to move to a different band where there's less activity. It'll be a little bit easier to see some of the points that I'm trying to make. As you move your mouse pointer across the spectrum, a tuning guide will follow along in the waterfall. The green tuning guide on the spectrum monitor indicates the flex radio's receive frequency. To tune to a station on the spectrum monitor, place the mouse pointer on the signal peak and click. The flex receiver and the green indicator will jump to the selected frequency. If you click on a signal with a pointer in the waterfall, the receiver will also jump to that frequency. If you hold down the control key while the mouse pointer is on the spectrum monitor, the waterfall tuning indicator will turn red. And if you click your mouse, you'll set the transmitter frequency at the pointer's location. The green tuning guide indicates the receive frequency and the red guide indicates the transmit frequency. Clicking anywhere on the spectrum monitor will return the flex radio to its transceiver mode. There is a setting in the option menu, Snap to Signal, that I'd like to mention next. With this option checked, you can click near the signal on the spectrum monitor, and the receiver will jump and zero beat the selected signal. If you click near a signal in the waterfall, the receiver will jump to the pointer frequency, but will not zero beat as in the spectrum monitor. When the mouse pointer is in the waterfall, the mouse wheel can be used to fine-tune the flex receiver. Now I'll switch back to the other band. Okay, here we are back again. Finally, let's look at the spectrum monitor and how it can be oriented, either horizontally or vertically. On the spot control options, with the bar or column format set to auto, the monitor window will automatically conform to the shape of the window you set. This will be dependent on your choices for the window's layout. Throughout this video we've been oriented horizontally, and here we are with a vertical orientation. So with that I'll bring this video to a close. I hope you found this quick look at using the N1MM Logger Plus Spectrum Monitor with the Flex 6000 Signature Series radios useful and interesting. Wishing you all good luck and good DX. This is Al K0CN saying 73s and thanks for watching.